What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So, had to had do a bit of a U-turn today. I was going to sit down and start my Void Linux custom ISO build. Um, obviously not the full build, but I was going to start the process on it. I was going to record and uh, get it up for my patrons and my channel members so they could follow along and see the whole process and all that good stuff, and I sat down here to do that, and I'm on Nuri right now, and Nuri is honestly really pissing me off at the moment. Um, I guess not so much Nuri as it is OBS on Nuri, and so, yeah, I could have logged out and gone into my Herbst setup and done it from there, but I just wanted to take a minute now and create this video to talk about Nuri and how much I love it and how much I hate it and what my thought process is at the moment. So for the most part, Nuri's been great. Um, it's been a spectacular compositor. I mean, it's really slick. I like the, the way everything works. I like the, the, the layout, the scrolling, the infinite workspaces, just all this magical stuff that you, uh, that you get with Wayland. Um, but the one thing that is just seriously ticking me off right now is OBS. OBS on Nuri is really ticking me off. I'm trying to stick on a Wayland compositor. Don't ask me why. I just decided in my head I'm going to use Wayland for a while. And so Nuri was my choice. Um, but I'm really getting frustrated with the fact that every time I try and sit down and do a video using OBS, one, I have no global key bindings. Two, my screens go to sleep when I uh, pan away from them. When I use a different screen, when I switch to a different monitor in OBS, uh, and if I go back to the monitor that I, like, say I was on my center monitor and I switched away to my right monitor, um, and I try to go back to my center monitor, the center monitor is no longer registering in OBS, and it's like it's, you know, it's still visible sometimes, but it's like just a frozen image of it in OBS. And sometimes it's just a black screen in OBS and I have to go into properties and reselect my monitor. Um, I've Googled and Googled and chat GPT and Claude and whatever I can find. And I still have not found a solution for this. If you know a solution for this, please, by all means, let me know. But it's really annoying to me. Um, just one more reason why, like I said, I, I decided I was going to try and stick with Wayland for a while, and I'm still going to try to, uh, but just one of the things that really drives me back to X, I mean, it just, it might be old, it might be bloated, it might, whatever, whatever your complaint about uh, X11 is, it works. Yeah, you might have to do stuff for screen tearing and all that, but it works. OBS works. Global key bindings work. And I know they're talking, they talk about those being safety issues with, you know, having access to, you know, but whatever. I don't care. I just want my system to work. Now I say I don't care, but I do care about safety and security, but you know, it's just, I just want my stuff to work. I want to be able to sit down here and create a video. And I already struggle to get time together to create a video. And with all the issues that I have with OBS on Wayland. So here's my plan. My plan is, and I know I said I wasn't going to use it, but my plan is I am going to install Hyperland. I'm going to install Hyperland, and I'm going to get Hyperland set up. I'm going to see if I have the same issues on Hyperland. Now, I know I can have global key bindings on Hyperland because I've set them up before um, when I was on it years ago, a couple years ago, um, and they work just fine. So I know global key bindings will work. So my concern is going to be whether I have the same issues with OBS and my screens uh, as I do on uh, Nuri. Um, I do know that I have the same issue with them on uh, DWL. I was on DWL for quite a while, and that's spectacular. I love that. But uh, it had the same thing, Mango WM or Mango uh, WC, Mango Compositor. Uh, that one uh, seemed to do the same thing. Uh, so I know if I had time to just sit down and figure it out, I could probably figure out what's going on. Um, but my problem is I just don't have time. I got too much stuff going on. I know that sounds like a lame excuse, but it is. It's just the facts. The facts are I have too much, too little time. I have too much other stuff going on that's more important than trying to figure out what my screens work. So if I can't just flat out get them to work on Wayland, I'm going to just jump back over to X and say, forget it. You know, there were things I liked about Wayland. I like just uh the, the big one and i'll tell you the big one is my battery life my battery life on my laptop was way better on wayland than it was on x um and i don't know why that is uh because you got all the flashy stuff the animations whether they're on or off doesn't matter i had better battery life so i would like to be able to figure out how to make this work um 
if I can't, I guess that's just the way it is. I will gladly go back to X and use DWM, use Herb's Lift, use Xmonad, use all these other window managers that I that I already know that I like, that I know they work and all that, and I will stick with that. But you know, with Wayland being the wave of the future, I was trying to kind of get my mindset in, hey, let's actually see if we can get a head start on this. Well, it doesn't seem to work. Wayland and OBS are just ticking me off. And I don't know if it's Nuri and OBS because like I said, I had the same issue on DWL and Mango. So I think it's a Wayland thing. So I'm pretty sure I'm probably going to have the same issue on Hyperland. If I don't, it'll be a miracle and I'll probably stick with Hyperland for a while. But um, Nuri, as much as I love it, I just got to get away from it. I, I, I want to be able to sit down and just turn on OBS, fire it off and get things going. And if I can't do it on Nuri, I'm going to try it on Hyperland. If I can't do it on Hyperland, then I'm probably just going to jump straight back over to X11 and jump back onto Herp's Lift probably. Uh, Herp's Lift, Xmonad, DWM, something like that. Something that I know, something that I know works, something I know is boring for you guys because, you know, it's old and it's, <laughs> it's old news. Everybody knows about it. So, um, but that's just kind of my plan. And I'm sorry about the rant and the rave, but this is just what is going on right now. I was really looking forward to getting started on my Void Linux ISO creation. And this just, just kind of put me in a funk. And maybe that's God telling me, hey, not yet. You need to get a little bit more together before you do this. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know what that is. And, you know, I say that flippantly because, you know, if you're a believer, then, you know, God doesn't really bother himself with Linux problems. But, you know, I'm just saying it's, I don't know what it is, why it decides to do this, and it's just really frustrating to me. So, that being said, that's today's video. Uh, super short, just a little bit of my thoughts going on right now, something that's bugging me on my system, and something that if you have the answer to, I would greatly appreciate it. Again, looking for global key binding setup on Nuri, if possible. If not, that's not the end of the world. It would be super nice, but if you can't figure it out, I can't figure it out. And then also, why my screen's decide to stop working in OBS. Like I can see everything just fine. Everything works on my end, but on OBS, the actual recording, it doesn't record anything. My screen is just either black or it is frozen on a previous image. So yeah, those are the things that I'm struggling with. Those are the things that I'm frustrated with. That's what's going through my head right now. And that's what I was fighting with. So again, sorry, I apologize. Um, I will be getting going on my void Linux ISO creation, my, my, um, custom spin of Void Linux, um, and that'll be probably within the next week or so, uh, since it's not going to be today, um, but yeah, so hope you guys have a great rest of your day, I hope my little rant here didn't uh, put you in a bad mood, didn't uh, think, man, I wish I wanted to watch that, because that was just a bummer, <laughs> that was a wasted video, that was something that we shouldn't even put out, that was something that I didn't even need to watch, but that's just what's going on, so have a great rest of your day, great rest of your week, stay safe, God bless.